Hi, every. Hi. So Asa and I are here on the International Space Station to talk about what we're going to do today. So mm -hmm. today we're going to go back down to Earth first and then we're going to use a field guide. Is this the field guide? Audubon Field Guide to New England. And we are going to use it to forage around, find some edible plants, maybe find some interesting insects or animals. And we're going to take our findings, like the plants and stuff, and we're going to we're gonna prepare them and then we're gonna eat them. So like if we find nettles, we're, we're gonna bring them back and we're gonna boil them, you know, stuff like that. Okay, I'll, I'll use the teleportation app. Let's go down. Squirrel. See that? Oh, there's two of them. There's two squirrels right there. Let's talk about sassafras. So this isn't in the, in the field guide or anything, but this right here is sassafras. But you know what you do with sassafras? <laughs> you don't eat it. I mean, technically it's edible. It's a but carcinogen. It's a, but it's a carcinogen. It gives you cancer. However, in a dire situation, sassafras is a very, very viable option for eating. Leaves of three, let it be. Found a mushroom. Mushrooms are the best. This is actually a shiitake mushroom, so we can pretty much just eat that right now. I'm kidding though. Don't eat mushrooms you don't recognize or at all in the wild. But you can touch them. Yeah, but don't rip them out either because most mushrooms have a symbiotic relationship with a tree in the near area. Imagine imagine getting poison ivy on your tongue though. Now these, my honey juju boo boos, <laughs> are poke berries. They're highly poisonous. They will make you sick if you eat them. However, my hands are already stained from food coloring, but if you smear it on yourself, ew, gross, right? <sighs> Looks like blood. <laughs> but don't eat it. See, watch. Nope. Not gonna do that. That would make me sick. These, right here, uh, when I was younger, I had a big fort that I made with my friends. Actually, Matthias was one of the friends. And we had a bathroom in the fort, and we used those leaves. It was a fort in the woods, and we used those leaves as toilet paper. Don't use those leaves as toilet paper! You probably know what an acorn is already, but this is just a really cool acorn I found. <laughs> You don't know what they are. They look cool. Those, uh, probably don't eat those. Maybe. Look at all these little tiny pumpkins and oranges. Nope. Not what that is. Those are poisonous berries. Probably. Thanks, Conrad. One time I fell off my sister's horse and I landed in a bunch of nettles. And then the horse dragged me by the reins through the nettles. I was in my first grade. Look, a fungi. That right there is a North American fungi. <laughs> Here we Don't go. touch it, it'll give you AIDS. That is a classic osprey feather right there. Oh, dude, look, blueberries. Wrong. Those are not blueberries. They're poisonous. All right, pups and giggles, we're going into the cedar swamp. This is one of the best habitats in the world. Probably so many mosquitoes. Okay. Never actually been inside here. I made it across. Okay, now we're in the cedar swamp, and our next goal is to get into a better place so we can walk through more swimmingly. Over there. Yeah, I, I know, over there. Moss is great. This is moss. All right, now I'm in the better place, and Ace is gonna try and get across. No, look at this moss. That moss is sick. If you eat this, you'll have fun. So, what's the scoop? We're gonna go really far into the cedar swamp, but it's gonna be fun. Probably some cool plants and animals in here. In a cedar swamp, the cedar trees have to compete for the light, so they have to grow very tall and thin to survive very quickly. Don't make any sudden movements. You might scare the trees. Doesn't this all look like really prehistoric? I could picture there being like dinosaurs walking through here. It does. These look just like prehistoric ferns. Ferns barely changed throughout history. It's insane. Camera's not really doing this environment justice. Imagine if we were just like walking through here and then all of a sudden some like animal fell down and like jumped us. Yeah. That'd be insane. How scary. Dude, that's sick. What if we got through to the other side and it was like the land before time? There was like dinosaurs and it was like secluded from the rest of everything. This place is really cool and you guys can't really understand. It's hard to capture this kind of thing on a camera. You should come here. I didn't really look through the field guide first. So the field guide's been very, very unhelpful to us. We've just kind of been walking around, but it's fun, you know. And now I am going to walk on this log. Oh. It fell apart. Now let's see what's inside. Yeah, wood. A pond. 
Everything here is so rotten. Oh, dude, you're gonna want to come take a look at this. There's a hole that looks like it's some kind of animal's home. I'll oh, use my geez. phone flashlight. All right, doesn't look like there's anything in there. Looks like we're safe from the snakes once again. You can't get us snakes. So now we're leaving the cedar swamp. Then we're gonna continue on our quest onward. Come on. Oh shit, feces. What? Yeah. Looks like the feces of a dog. If you know what kind of feces this is, tell us. Well, you guys, ugh, that's it for the cedar swamp for now. Drop the field guide into the water. That's probably not good. You should come here yourself. Okay, guys, this over here, fungi, is growing oh, no. on that tree. And maybe it is doing something. Pretty hard to tell, though. It's just kind of sitting there. That there is edible. You just got to cook it. Asa is grabbing our supposed chicken of the woods. Okay, yeah, that's a good amount. Let's go. My mom probably isn't going to let us cook the mushrooms because we're going to get home and be like, hey, Mom, we found these cool mushrooms. We're going to cook them. Probably just got to cook them in secret. Part of the actual preparation of these mushrooms, these chicken of the woods, is to uh, throw them on the ground and stomp on them repeatedly. And the reason for that is that you should never, ever go and find mushrooms in the woods and then eat them. It is a very, very bad idea, is what re we realized on the way back. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed Asa and I foraging for about an hour and a half. This is my dog, Emmy. She's very cute, but she has a very, very bad and generic name. And she is going to say goodbye to you. Say bye, Emmy. Bunny ocean.